Hey guys, um, keeping this one kind of simple today, just starting it off right at the grill. But I'm going to be doing a surf and turf uh, for my wife's birthday, actually. This is her birthday meal. So, got some really nice uh, filet mignon here. Wrapped it in bacon and uh, just seasoned it with um, some sea salt and a little fresh, you know, cracked black pepper. I mentioned I wrapped it in bacon, right? Yeah. And then along with this, I'm going to be making... Uh, some Alaskan king crab legs and while this is uh, cooking here I'm gonna I want to show you something else that I'm doing for the side that I'm kind of excited about let's go to my other grill all right on my other Weber here I'm cedar planking some little fingerling potatoes so um, just went over them with a little olive oil and I seasoned them with some roasted garlic uh, seasoning with some, you know parsley and everything some little sea salt anyway it smells really good and uh, Ooh, cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nature's Choice Cedar Planks, you got to check them out. All right, so these things have been on, um, I don't know, two and a half minutes or so. I'm going to give them just a little quarter turn here, as always. And again, this is just to get that nice kind of crisscross pattern going. All right, so these have been cooking on this side now for about seven minutes. These these are really big. I mean, these are you know, over two inches thick. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them now. And I, when I'm using this again on the cray cord, I like to get it to the fresh side. After that, on the flip. Looking good. Now while those things are off. Uh, over there cooking away I'm gonna put on my crab legs and all I did on these I cut them in half it was like that and um, just press it with a little olive oil and that's really just more to kind of be a little buffer between the grate and the shell and these are you know you buy these things they've been cooked already so you're more or less just really heating them up but I'm cooking it with lump uh, lump mesquite so there it adds a nice I mean, mesquite's a pretty strong wood, so it has a nice, you know, smoky flavor to pretty much everything I'm cooking. So, anyway, we'll check out on it in a little bit. All right, so these crab legs have been cooking for about five minutes. I already went did the little turn, e even though it's kind of a moot point. It, uh, these are so thick that I'm not really getting those defined, you know, marks that you like to see those uh, great marks, just because I'm having to cook them longer than you'd have to cook, you know, a one and a half uh, inch steak. So, anyway, I'm going to give these guys a turn. Smells really, really good. And that cedar, like I said, I have that other grill going with the potatoes and the cedar planks. Smells awesome. All right. Check up on it a bit. All right, guys. These steaks are done. Still have a couple minutes left on the crab. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off, let them rest. I'll be pulling the crab off in a few minutes too. Um, and uh, let's take a peek at the potatoes. All right, let's take a peek at these taters. Look at that. You can hear them sizzling, and uh, <laughs> that cedar just smells really, really good. So, uh, probably a couple more minutes left on those guys, and the crab's probably about done. We'll pull that. Like I said, it's more of a kind of a heating up operation with these things, but they're done. Um, I hit them for five minutes uh, each side on the grill. And like I said, that mesquite's, you know, very strong. So it definitely uh, gave these guys some smoky flavor. So we're going to get this on uh, off the grill here and we'll be eating soon. And here we are. It's... Um, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It's medium rare, a little bit on the rare side, like like we like it, and the crab and everything turned out great. So anyway, thanks for watching.